I am Anil Kumar and now we will understand how to represent a pattern with algebraic expression. Following pattern is built by using toothpicks. What is the figure number of the figure that requires 25 toothpicks? Explain. So what we have is these pentagons and the pattern is increasing by attaching a pentagon to the previous one with one side overlapping. Now to find the number of toothpicks we can actually make a t-table right and then uh, see the pattern so that is the whole idea. So let us say uh, we start with the number of pattern as as n if n is 1 we have number of picks, toothpicks we say number of toothpicks here so that is toothpicks we can count and write down this as 5 for n equals to 2 so this is this is 1 for us this is 2 this is 3 and so on the pattern will increase if n is 2 then I already have 5 and then 6 7 8 and 1 9 right so I have 4 more so I get 9 for the third one I have 9 then 10 11 12 13 so I have 13 so what I notice here is that every time I add a pentagon with the overlapping side so I increase the toothpick number by 4 correct so the difference here is 4 each time correct so now we need to find what is the figure number for 25 toothpicks so one method is we could kind of continue this pattern and see when we get 25 and we can read the value of n and that should be our answer so that is one way to solve it correct so there are many ways to solve that is indeed a very good way of solving well in this case we only go for 25 toothpicks so it's not that difficult however at times this number could be very very large right so in that case it could be time consuming the alternate method here is to form an expression so the expression is related with four times since we are adding four so four times n is what uh, four times one is four how do I get five I get five by adding one four times two is eight how do I get nine adding one it works so so n could be equals to one two three and so on and this expression four n plus one represents the number of toothpicks when we say we need 25 toothpicks then what we need to do is solve for 4n plus 1 equals to 25 so when will 4n plus 1 be equal to 25 this is what I have to think now to solve such an expression or equation in this case uh, what we can see here is that 4n plus 1 is 25 so if I have what should 4n be it should be 24 correct uh, because 24 plus 1 is is 5 so I could think this as 24 plus 1 is 25 so 4 times number is 24 so we know 4 times 6 is 24 so that gives us an idea that n is 6 so we say n equals to 6 so that is one way of finding it out correct so we can actually get an expression solve it solving we can follow different techniques one of them I showed you just now the other one could be we have 4 n plus 1 equals to 25 what we do is we take away 1 from each side we, that is an algebraic method so if you take away 1 from each side you could write this as 4 n equals to 25 take away 1 is 24 and then you divide by 4 right so when you divide by 4 each time each side and once you do that you get n equals to 24 divided by 4 which is 6 so you get n equals to 6 as your solution so that would be an algebraic solution for this expression another method is trial and error which is or you can say systematic approach which is kind of uh, you could assume n to be some value so we can say well let n be 5 if n is 5 then what so we say let we say let if n equals to 5 then 4 times 5 is 20 and we get 21 well that does not work let n be equals to 6 in that case it will be 4 times 6 plus 1 
and that is 25 it is correct so we can get n equals to 6 in this fashion also so this method is called systematic trial right so we could follow any of these methods and that is a method by we're trying to do it by intuition we say well we have something plus 1 is 25 that something should be 24 now that something is 4 times so 24 divided by 4 is the number and here we guess one number check the value if it is low guess the higher number check the value you will get the right result at one time and so you have the solution I hope with this you understand how a pattern could be related with an algebraic expression and how can we solve some situations as given in this particular question. Thank you and all the best.